Okay, but this is an expert software product, so we're in luck. Like, I wasn't sure at first. I thought maybe this is some piece of licensed software they just got from someone else and distributed with their product. Because I know, like, Broderbund put out a whole crap load of 3D home design software in this era. And the cover picture that they used looks a little bit like what they put out. So I thought maybe, but no, it's, it's expert software. It's going to be a real piece of shit. You know, tech customer service, Monday to Friday, 9 to 5 CST. They have a phone number, fax number, and an email address. What do you think it was like? What do you think it was like working for that support line? You think that was easy? You, you think people called in were satisfied with the answers that they got when they called for support? Hey, I can't delete an object. What gives? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I've worked tech support. I've worked tech support for a long time. I don't understand what the person on the other end of the phone would do in that situation. Being told, no, the software you have just, just doesn't work. It doesn't work. It just doesn't work. It, it doesn't. You can't make it. How do you handle that? You know, is the person answering the phone, like, when a customer calls about a piece of software that you know is unfixably broken, what do you do? You just quit on the spot? I can't fathom any other options. If you've had this experience, let me know in the comments. Thank you for calling Activision Value Support. This is Theodore. How may I help you, sir? Well, I'm hanging up on you now, sir. But you asked about expert software, sir. Sir, I won't speak about expert software. Not now. Not after the war. Okay, it's done. Now... First things first, I wonder if it actually made the right directory. Oh my god. It's the same bug. And while we're at it, let's just pop over to the Windows folder because we know what we're going to find. Oh no, you know what? There it is. Right there. And this one... Oh, I actually got that one right. Those paths are correct. Although the rest of this, like, uh, this is going to be the same program but different. Uh, here we go. Nice. Wow! Look at this house they built in hell! Oh, what? Uh, no, no, I guess I'm not... Hmm. Okay, I guess I don't get to be here. Okay. By the way, before we continue, I just want to point out the textures at the bottom are exactly the same textures I just saw in the other piece of software. I don't feel like I would want that necessarily. Oh, I see. Those are the grid lines. The snap grid is only six inches. All right, that's fair. Okay, one third inch, there's one feet, yeah, it looks good. Okay, yeah. So this looks like a much better help file. There's two types of help file. One type of help file is just a listing of every control in the program. That's fucking useless. I can see the controls. I, I'll just mouse over them, whatever. The ones that are useful are the ones that are like, here's how to do a particular thing. Here's how to make an object. Here's how to bevel an object. You know, if you knew which button you needed to press, you'd already know you wouldn't need the help file. So, this is already looking a lot better. Alright, so again, I want to just get into it. So, I'm going to close this. I'll come back to it later if I have to. And let's see what we've got here. So, we have simple tools up here for walls, doors, windows, uh, roofs. Wait, hip and gable roofs, both types. Uh, and floors. So, let's go ahead and put down a a wall here. Uh, okay, so it's click and drag. Okay, and it seems like it does it does sort of connect to the existing wall. It doesn't just kind of leave them hanging. It does seem to integrate the walls, so that's good. Okay, so I've drawn a little outline here. Let's see if we can lay a floor down. Okay, and floors are not patches. You have to draw the, the whole outline. I like that. Okay, now I've gone a little short here. Can I backspace? Nope, I can't backspace. I'm stuck with it. Okay. Okay, so I didn't have to double click to end it. That was nice. Uh, let's try and fly around here. Uh, hmm. Well, it's better than it was in the other program for sure. This is already a considerably superior piece of software. So I can't zoom in any way with the helicopter. Uh, just kind of is what it is. Look how the, the blades go. You see that? 
Little blades animate when you're uh, when you're moving around. That's cute. So it looks like we've got the same tools over here for panning around, but they don't work in this view. Yeah, you can't use them in that view. Okay. You can define a 3D viewing angle, but that's apparently on the ground. I think. Yep, that's only for that's only for walkies. Anyway, but the thing I was interested in, as soon as I did that, is I noticed that the walls don't actually seem to to meet the floor. I'm not sure whose fault that is. And I, I can't look down to examine it closer, but basically my thought is that when I drew the floor, I feel like maybe the grid lines didn't quite match up. Yeah, that is the case. See if we zoom in. No? No, it is smack dab on there. Yeah. Yeah. So the walls just seem to be kind of floating uh, above the floor for some reason. Not sure what that's about. Like, seems like a pretty basic feature they could have gotten working. This is also from 1997. So, what the fuck is from 2001 then? Did I not find a 2001 copyright date on here? Maybe the contents of the disc are uh, from 2001? Okay, there we go. Yeah, 0001. The program also had a last modified date then. God, look how barbarian this is as well. It just has a program files and a Windows that just copies them straight to the C drive. It doesn't even have full paths or anything. And it clearly does not auto-discover the Windows folder if it's doing this. And that means if my Windows folder wasn't named Windows, the program wouldn't have installed all the DLLs correctly. It would have just made a Windows folder. This is bizarre. Install Shield figures this stuff out for you. Why did they buy Install Shield and then use it wrong? Answer, they were incompetent. Alright, it's just let's see what else we can do here. Uh, so let's put a roof on this bastard. Now I realize I've actually sort of um, I fucked myself over a little bit because I know the roof is not going to be able to fit this alcove I made here. So I think we just click and drag a roof. Yes, we do. Okay. Let's do one like that. Okay. Uh, hmm. Well, well... Okay, there are several problems. So the roof has a particular slope to it. What's happened is the roof is supposed to be shaped like this, but I made it quote unquote too small so the halves are intersecting like that. Why? 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 Why would that have happened? And so yeah, there's a lot of Z fighting with the polygons down here, but that's probably because there's a base down there. Yeah, there's a base down there and these things are intersecting it. They're not supposed to. So what the fuck? Okay. I just made a random one to see if it works any better if it's bigger. And it sort of does, but it still has that Z fighting. So the base of the roof seems to be a box made out of six polygons. With all the back faces pointing the wrong way. You know, the normals are misaligned. Sorry, if you're not a CAD person, if you're not a 3D person, this might not make a lot of sense. So I'm going to try to explain. In 3D rendering, every polygon has a face. So, okay, so suppose you have a polygon, and it's got three vertices, and they're joined together into a triangle, okay? So you put that triangle here on the screen. And now you point your camera at it. So polygons only have one side. This seems weird, but there's a lot of reasons for it. So if the polygon's facing this way, then the camera will be able to see it. But if you turn it around, it won't. And what determines which direction it's facing is what's called its normal. So you've got your polygon, and if you lay that down in the middle of it, you have the normal pointing this way. And in whichever direction the normal's facing, that's what will be able to see it. And if you turn it around, it'll be invisible. So if you look here in this scene, you'll see that right here... That's hollow. You can see down inside of this. See if we tilt up. You see you can see down inside of the cube that makes up the roof base. But if we rotate around, watch very closely, you see on the left side, on the left side, that's solid. When we rotate around, it goes invisible. So that pair of polygons have a normal that's facing in instead of out. That's, that's useless. There's no reason to make a box like that. 
So this is just wrong. So we have two questions. Why did it fail to make the roof? Why is there all this Z fighting going on down here? I don't even know what's causing that. I guess limited polygon precision where the roof is intersecting the cube that makes up the base. But why does it have a cube for a base? Why is that even there? Let's um, make some other adjustments. I have the feeling that if I make the roof in this aspect ratio, yeah, that destroys it. So it seems like, oh, whoa, what? I can adjust this. Yeah, now the roof isn't acting as a roof object. It's just a bunch of broken planes. What the fuck? Okay, so that's the gabled roof. Yes. And that one has the same problem with the polygon normals on the bottom. Yep. But I think in addition, it has them all fucked up around the edges as well. No, those look okay. Yeah, those look okay. But what is messed up is if you look here... Yeah, let's just maximize this. Yeah, so there's a lot of problems here. You can see there's polygon fighting here. Polygon fighting, well, they're not fighting, but there's a penetration going on there. And some more broken normals, I think. Oh, yep, there we go. There's the Z fighting. I don't even understand why there's Z fighting there. I don't know why there would be a polygon under there. Well, I guess maybe I can delete part of the roof now and find out. No. Those... Those are flat. They don't intersect. I don't know why they would have been Z-fighting. That's fucking bizarre. Okay, let's put in a window. Where do we put in a window? Do we put in, uh... There we go. Hey! God, I'm actually kind of astonished that that worked. Can I adjust the size? Yep. Uh, can I change it to a different type of window? Oh, for preferences, for window. There we go. Oh, we can actually dynamically adjust the number of panes, and a few other things as well. See, that part actually works okay. Yeah, see, that's... Wait a minute. Wait, are you kidding me? Damn it, that's fucked up too! Okay, you see how at the top, the uh, polygons form a square, but down here it's hollow. They got the normals wrong again. Jesus! Let me put a door down here. There we go. Kind of an ugly door, but okay. Alright, and... Oh, okay, so we've got... Oh... Can we put in some furniture? Yes, we can. Alright, and there's quite a bit. Let's go ahead and put a fireplace in. I guess that's a stove, right? Oof. Boy, that thing's big. Okay. It put in a ceiling fan, but it put it at waist level. Can we elevate that? I don't know why it came in at that level, but okay. I guess we have a fan in the middle of the room. What is this? Electrical meter? What? In what universe is that an electrical meter? How would that be an electrical meter? Okay, moving on. What else we got? Entertainment systems. Okay, at least we got that. Telephone. Tape deck. Oh, it has stairs. Ah. That makes sense, because it, it does support a second floor, apparently. And rather than go through all the mess of trying to design that in this trash fire for program, I'm just going to open one of their samples. Wow! Boy, that design is a power play. Let me tell you what. Boy, there are some issues with polygon precision here. Like, take a look right here by the sliding glass door or by one of the windows. When you adjust the perspective, it just kind of turns into a bunch of little waves. That's... Uh, okay. Alright, let's put us in walkies mode. It's just all polygon Z fighting and oh my god. Why? Why is that so many polygons? fuck is in there? There's a lot of polygons here. You can see from how many different angles there are. God, what a mess. Well, it's, uh, yeah, okay, so the floor doesn't fit. Why the fuck doesn't the floor fit? Okay, you know, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and say, I'm going to give them the, the benefit of the doubt here. Maybe these polygon issues were not present in the original software on whatever hardware they developed it on. 
I'm willing to accept that. I'm going to give them that. That maybe in this one regard, their software is not total dog shit. Because I'm kind of thinking, they couldn't have released it like this, right? I mean, I know I've said that about expert software before, but how could they have released it like this? Like, nah, I don't know. I'm not buying it. All right, let's wipe out this house. And is there something like more hog wild? Let's try this one. For the image, it looks hog wild, certainly. What the fuck does that mean? Gibbs is here, bothering me. Hi, Gibbs. Hi, Gibbs. All right, so let's find out what this house is all about. Horrendous Z fighting everywhere. I'll just, you know, I'm going to stop commenting on that now, right? Boy. Wow. This house is a piece of work. God, this is one garish house. I guess someone probably lived in a house like this, but... Man, what an ugly house. What is the most ridiculous thing you can give me? Look at all these designs. So, there are so many designs in here. There's like 30 or 40. And then that's not including the international samples. Oh, okay. There's not that many of those, at least. Oh, Gibbs, I'm busy right now. But you got your paws all over me. I'll pet the cat and wait for my house to render. A very 90s thing to do. Gibbs, you're not very soft today. You're rough. Oh, the house is here. What the fuck? What? Okay, but, like, what's going on with, like, the the blocks around the path there? Is that intentional? Seriously, is it supposed to look like that? It's not supposed to look like that. That was a rendering bug. Holy shit. There's all these windows that are smashed halfway into other windows. Oh my god. The house is just disintegrating. Uh, I don't even know what to say. How is this possible? God, I'll bet at this point, if we just back up, I bet the house will just eat itself. 